Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to recolor your artwork on Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator has this option where if you want to change the color of your artwork, you can do it easily. You know, besides using the eyedropper tool and selecting your colors and go object by object and changing the colors and play around with it. Um, I'm going to show you how to recolor your entire artwork in an easier way, faster way, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Over here I have a um, composition that I made and I thought it was going to be a good idea to use this one because it has a lot of colors, different objects, and it will be easier for me to show you how recolor your artwork works. And over here I have already preloaded uh, some swatches pal palettes from um, Kuler. So let's go ahead and start. So first select your entire artwork with your um, arrow. Make sure you know everything is selected. Go to edit here on your um, upper left. Scroll down, go to edit colors and click on recolor artwork. So you can see now uh, is this window that opened up and um, over here I have the same swatches palettes that I um, loaded from um, from cooler and let's just play around with it so the intentions of this is to change the entire artwork by using the swatches palettes that I have here so before we start make sure you have selected over here recolor art otherwise nothing is gonna happen so now that we have you know selected here let's go ahead and, and choose a, a swatches palette and click on it and see what happens so let's go ahead and click brights and as you can see everything in the screen changed all the colors now go according to the swatches that I have selected if we click monochromatic blue it's gonna go just with the monochromatic blue and we're gonna go with complementary. We have tried. So as you can see, you know all the colors that you see on on my palette, my swatches, are um, put on this on my um, on my piece. And if you go compound and another one and another one. So it's pretty cool. You know, I think it's easier, faster way to play around with colors to see what works best for you what looks better so um, I think it's pretty pretty cool that I can uh, do this on my my compositions and you know instead of you know using the eyedropper tool and um, selecting object by object I think this gives you a more um, general idea of the whole piece you can still use the eyedropper tool to just change a few things here and there but uh, I think this is this option is pretty pretty cool. So let's go ahead and um, play around a little bit more with it. And something that I have found is that um, what if I wanna keep the same swatches palette, but change the position of the color on the objects. So what I'm gonna do is click on this icon right here and it says randomly change color order so if we press on it the if you notice the color of the objects changed but the swatches palette didn't change so if we click on it again you know keep changing and keep changing so let's click it a few more times here and to show you so it's pretty pretty cool um, okay so Another thing we can do is um, change, you know, um, modify the brightness and saturation of the colors using this um, icon here. So if we press on it, it's gonna make it, you know, a little darker, and you know, vary some light. Some pieces, are, some um, pieces are uh, lighter than the other ones, and you know, it's just, it just. I think it helps to see your your piece from another perspective. To play around, you know, your your eyes kind of like uh, try to follow the colors and the position of it. So um, I think it's good if you wanna really have a good piece um, and make it look nice.
something else that I have found is um, over here where it says uh, none um, there's so already preloaded um, I guess themes that you, you want to call it like that or if you click on it it will automatically recolor your artwork according to um, the theme for example we have um, skin tones so let, let's see what happens when I press skin tones so as you can see it looks like you know everything was more like a on a skin tone kind of like brownish um, if we go and do earth tone you know it's more like earth you know theme you know like a dark um, green over here with some brown uh, let's see if we do um, you know nature let's go beach and so it's more like a little more colorful um, theme and we have kid stuff so that's more like a you know some brighter colors and more colorful that I, I guess kid, um, kids are familiar with um, so yeah we have all these all these different options and stuff that you can play around you can easily spend hours playing around with this and um, I guess I could just wanna be careful with it because you might get lost on the essence of the composition so try just to keep it you know simple and and stick with your ideas and and play around with it another thing that I have found is um, for example let's choose um, compound or not this one um, I found that I can you only use one two three four or five colors on my swatches palette for example if you go to colors right now it says auto but if you scroll down in the arrow and you press number three it's gonna keep the same palette but only it's gonna use three of the colors of the palette so if we press four you see there's the pink here and automatically added the pink to the shoe but it doesn't have the purple in it so if we press number five you'll add all the colors because we have five colors over here and so on so that thing that was pretty awesome too um, so yeah just play around with it and uh, have fun I hope that's this was helpful for you and uh, thank you